In Eastern Ukraine today, the Donbas militia began the withdrawal of heavy military equipment from the front line. A ceasefire agreement was reached earlier this week in Minsk, which outlines a 30-kilometer buffer zone separating the Ukrainian army and rebel militias. Meanwhile, OSCE observers have arrived in the village Nizhnya Kremka, which Ukrainian army just left. The OSCE observers are now investigating a horrific scene. The militia came to this mine site to defuse and explode its shells when they made a terrible discovery – the body of a decapitated woman whose hands are tied behind her back. Take a look at the cowardly acts of the Ukrainian army. These are the bodies of two women. Two days ago, a Ukrainian army division of about 500 people was here. What they were doing here has become clear now. These two young women were probably shot with a Makarov pistol. These shells were found right here. The OSC is investigating every detail, and they will present their report when they make an appeal to the International Court of Human Rights. There is another grave with the bodies of two more women. This mine site is littered with unexploded mines. A special squad is trying to clear them now. Workers from the mine are clearing the debris from the bombarded mine. They hope to continue the mining of coal when they have repaired the mine. This morning the Ukrainian army and the rebel militias began the withdrawal of armored vehicles and heavy artillery from the front line. Head of the DNR, Alexander Zakharchenko, said that the militia is withdrawing only from the areas where the Ukrainian army did the same withdrawal. There are still a few areas where both sides have not withdrawn their military vehicles and weapons yet.